Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So the question that I'm asking today is, is the PS4 Pro dead? Now, it might be a little premature to say that, but just by the initial release um, and basically all the things that surrounded the PS4 Pro and a lot of people talking about it in terms of what their impressions and thoughts are, you know, I think that the launch of it and the reception hasn't been what Sony had expected, you know. I mean, and for a lot of people, I think in general, the PS4 Pro just does not give a reason to upgrade if you already have a PS4. And for new people coming in, I really think that the value proposition is not there. And I have talked about this many times before. Now, the new thing that just came recently in the news, and I think it's really going to make it harder and harder for Sony to justify the PS4 Pro, is the fact that the upcoming Xbox uh, Scorpio, which is probably expected to come like late 2017, um, it's actually rumored that it will have the brand new AMD Ryzen CPU. And this thing's gonna be a beast. If you didn't know, uh, the AMD Zen, which is what it's called before, is now actually the Ryzen. And it's basically, uh, at least the one that they were showing, is an 8-core, 16-thread beast of a CPU. Okay, and this is really meant to compete against the high end of Intel. In this case, the Intel iCore uh, 7 6900K, and that CPU itself is $1,100. And so... If the Xbox Scorpio is going to have this CPU, and you know, let's be realistic, it's not going to have that version of the CPU. It's probably going to have like a lower end version built for consoles, but it's still going to be extremely beastly. And if that is a variant of the CPU that's going to be in the upcoming Xbox Scorpio, then I think the PS4 Pro has no chance. I mean, the only thing we can hope for right now, if you are um, really a fan of the PS4 Pro or, or waiting to see what Sony does, is that... You know, it still is pretty new, and so uh, the developers is going to take them time to get used to this architecture. But by the time the Xbox Scorpio rolls around, and if it is on this brand new uh, Ryzen CPU platform, then, like I said, it's going to be really, really hard for the uh, PS4 Pro to compete, even once developers get a grips with the new hardware. And so um, that is a really just a quick thought on that. Um, and, you know, just to speak on the AMD Ryzen CPU, now having built my own uh, Linux PC with uh, an AMD GPU, um, I think AMD is making some really great strides here in the past year. Uh, first with the Polaris line of GPUs, which I absolutely love and a lot of people do as well. But also now with their new CPU architecture and also their Vega as well, which is part of that, it's really going to be pretty interesting and I think just great for gamers all the way around. So um, what are your thoughts on the PS4 Pro? Do you think it's still viable or do you think with the recent um, news of the um, AMD Ryzen along with this Xbox Scorpio if it's pretty much put the nail in the coffin? So um, any thoughts that you have, leave them in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. See you in another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.